Okay, here is your lesson on indirect measurement. These are your guided notes video that goes with your guided notes. On the inside of your notes, the definition is already given to you. Um, but just to go over it, this is for those real difficult measurements that we can't take a, real, a rule or two. So we're going to use properties of similar triangles in order to find those measurements. Okay, for example, one, this is not in your notes. This is just for you to refer to to see how they actually create a triangle out of the real world objects. So the lead statue of the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C. casts a 43.5 inch shadow at the same time a nearby Taurus casts a 32 inch shadow. If the Taurus is 64 inches tall, how tall is the lead statue? So basically, we can make the measurements of the Taurus because he's a human being. We can find those measurements, and we can use those measurements to determine the actual measurements of the statue because the shadows are something that we can measure since they are on the ground. So what they do is they set up a proportion of the Taurus's um, height as 64, over the statue's height of H. And then the Taurus shadow and the statue shadow. So basically your first fraction is all but the height. And then your section, second fraction is corresponding with the um, shadows. Once they set up a proportion, they cross multiply and they solve for H. And they find that the statue is actually 87 inches tall. So let's get it with the... Got it. Problem number one. Suppose a bell tower casts a 27.6 foot shadow. At the same time, a nearby Taurus casts a 1.2 foot shadow. If the Taurus is 6 feet tall, how tall is the tower? Okay, first off, I would suggest creating the picture or modeling the picture that goes with the problem so you know how to set up the proportion. Okay, plus it gets it gives you an excuse to uh, draw and create triangles, which is so much fun. So the first thing that we need to do is create the 27.6 foot shadow of the bell tower. So here's the bell tower. We need to find that height. And here's its shadow. 27.6 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this a full-on triangle. So the height is what we need to determine. The human tourist has a shadow of 1.2 feet. And that tourist is 6 feet tall. Let's set up our proportions with the corresponding measurements. So I have the shadow, which is so therefore if I'm going from the bell tower is on top, then X is going to be on top. Now Cross multiply 27.6 times 6 divided by 1.2, you will find the bell tower height. Okay, time's up. So the bell tower height is actually 138 feet tall. Moving on. Besides using real-world um, moments for that deals with shadows, okay, like trees and buildings and statues, there are lakes and ponds that you can use uh, similar triangles to help get those distances as well. And um, surveyors actually use this uh, when they do their job, okay? Now, I know you see two similar triangles here, and they tell you that Triangle STU is similar to triangle VQU, but also 
Um, I just want you to be aware of the problems. There might you might run into a problem like this. That's the best triangle I can draw. Sorry, where you have a triangle within a triangle. So do you see this little triangle? Okay, so that's the smaller triangle of this big triangle. So I'll try and go over this type of problem in class because dealing with uh, triangles is one of the big questions that you might see on the K-Prep. All right, let's get started. So we need to determine the x value, which is the distance across that pond, when we're given other measurements of similar triangles. So we can set up a proportion, okay, of 10 to 16 and 20 to x, or vice versa, just making sure you have proportion set up correctly. Once you cross multiply, and then divide, you will get the distance across the pond as 32 meters. All right, let's do, let's jump down to, got it, question number two. It says that triangle QRS is similar to triangle URT. So therefore, the corresponding sides is 46, is corresponding with 138. Therefore, the 60 is corresponding with the X. So we're going to set up a proportion in that aspect. So I'm going to say 46 yards to 138 is equal to 60 yards to x. So I'm going to cross multiply 138 times 60. I'm going to get 8,280 and that equals 46 times x. So then the last step I need to do is to divide by 46. So the distance from the cabin to the mess hall is 180 yards. Okay, let's get some guided practice in. Number one, a basketball hoop in Miguel's backyard casts a shadow. So here we've got the shadow thing again. So we're going to be given the distances of the shadow, and we're going to be given the human's uh, height in order to determine the basketball hoop height. So let's set up a proportion. We have the human shadow, 4.5, and then the other shadow is 8 feet. The height is 5.5 feet for the basketball player and then the hoop is x. So let's go ahead and cross multiply 8 times 5.5 and then divided by 4.5. So we get 44 equals 4.5x divide And we get roughly 9.78 feet as the height of the basketball hoop. Okay, so that deals with our shadows. Oh, it said round to the nearest tenth. So 9.8 feet. Okay, let's move on to number two. Here we have the distance across the ravine. So triangle ABC is um, similar to triangle ABD. We could not find the distance if we weren't told that information. So you have to look for that. All right, so we've got 220 is corresponding to 400. Therefore, X is corresponding to 360. So we need to determine that so we can set up a proportion. So 220 to 400 and X to 360. Okay, let's cross multiply 220 times 360. That's going to be 79,200. Then the last step is just to divide by 400. Hundred and ninety eight meters. 
across the ravine. Ta-da!